Today we're looking at part two of completing the square. Remember, the unit focus right now is solving a quadratic equation. What does it mean to solve? It's where that x value crosses, where your parabola crosses that x-intercept. Those are the solutions to your quadratic equation. So completing the square is just a method that we're going to use in today's part two, where our quadratic term is greater than one. So our first step is to do the same as we did last time. Make sure that it fits the form where your quadratic linear term on the left side and your constant term is on the right side. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. And now I have 4x squared plus 8x equals positive 5. I have to get, I just want my quadratic term to have 1 as the value. So what do I do? I divide it by 4. But remember, equality. Whatever you do to one thing, you have to do to everything else. So if I divide this term by 4, I divide this term by 4, and I divide this term by 4. And now I get x squared plus 2x. I'm going to leave myself space here, and I get plus 5 over 4. And now I'm doing the same thing. I take this term divided by 2, which is 1, and then 1 squared is 1. If I add 1 over here, I add 1 over here. Now I am going to factor this, and I get x plus 1 squared equals, when I add these together, I'm going to turn 1 into 4 over 4. It's the same thing. That way I have matching denominators. And then I get 9 fourth is my answer here. So make sure you keep that in fraction form. Don't turn into a decimal, nothing like that. And now we do the same thing as we have been doing. We take the square root of both sides, and I get x plus 1 equals plus or minus 3 over 2. Remember, here I take the square root of the numerator and square root of the denominator. So I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides, and I get x equals 3 halves plus 1, which is 2 over 2. It's the same thing as 1. So I get 5 halves. And then I have negative 3 over 2. Oh, wait, this is minus 1. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to confuse you. I'm subtracting one on both sides. So 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2, and I get 1 half. And then I take negative 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2, and I get negative 5 halves. So my answer here in bracket form is negative 5 halves and positive 1 half. Okay, so it's the same thing. We're just adding, it's plus or minus 3 halves, and then we're subtracting one. I originally added one. Don't do what I did. So it's the same thing. The only thing new is we're dividing out that first term. So let's do a couple of examples together. All right, let's take a look down 